2008, the season we went down, the worst ever day of being a supporter of Mansfield Town Football Club. We dropped out to Football League. I remember the feeling, just sat in that stand, in the Quarry Lane end stand at Field Mill, utter dejection, thinking, this is it. This is it. We'll never get back. We'll never, ever get back to the Football League. The first game in the conference season the following year was against Ebbsfleet. Switch out to the right-hand side for Arnold, intercepted by Opadella, no straight up the other end for Gasper Chase. 25 yards out, right foot shot, and Gamble! Oh, that one hits both of Gamble and in! And Ebbsfleet United have the lead after seven minutes. Exactly the start the Stags did not want. And it was a real wake-up call because you realise then, this is going to be difficult. We had five seasons in the conference. 2008, 2009, abysmal. Losing at teams like Histon, Ebbsfleet, Northwich, Victoria. 2009, 2010, wasn't much better. 2010, 11, again, terrible. Those three seasons were real low points in watching the Stags. Paul Cox, congratulations on your appointment as manager of Mansfield Town Football Club. Welcome to Field Mill. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. 2011-2012, Paul Cox joined us at the start of that season. And in fact, the second half of that season was very good. We finished third in the division, so into the playoffs, but we lost against York City. Paul Cox was a recognised lower league manager got the best out of his sides in the lower league. We always said, yeah, he's the right man for the job. He's the man that will get us out of that division. So we stuck with the guy into the next season. Yeah, that was his team. That was Paul Cox's team. Alan Marriott, first class keeper. Or low league footballers have to do something when they finish their careers. Marriott left to become an electrician. Adam Murray, a great servant to the football club. Lyndon Meekle, again, decent low league footballer. Absolute iron man, Lee Beavers. We always said he'd run through brick walls for Mansfield Town. <laughs> Matt Reed is big, very strong, difficult to get off the ball. Yeah, Matt Reed does what Matt Reed does, and he does it very well. Matt Green is God, a great goal scorer, a great poacher. He was the man of the season in that league. This is the style of football that Paul Cox played. Bypass midfield. Who fit to the big man? Matt Reed. The big man would win the ball, and there was Matt Green to receive the flick ons to actually put the ball in the back of the net. And, you know, Matt Green had that skill. The following season, 12-13, we didn't start particularly great. The first five games, we lost to Newport, 4-3. We went to Gateshead and got thumped 4-1. Kidderminster home, we actually beat them 3-2. So we beat Hyde 1-0, but then we went to Grimsby and lost 4-1. So the start wasn't particularly great, didn't really fill us with much confidence. But we also had a decent cup run that year. We're into the third round of the FA Cup, a competition that starts with around about 700 teams. Number 23. 23, Mansfield Town. And anybody can draw anybody. Number 13. Liverpool. Liverpool, five times European champions, coming down to Field Mill. That ain't even got four sides, three sides, one side derelict. The actual buzz, it was, it was unreal. It made you realise, you know, what football really means to you. It took Liverpool seven minutes to score. We thought, oh my God, here we go. We're in for a trounce in here. 2-0 Liverpool, Luis Suarez. But it was a handball, shouldn't have been allowed. Luis Suarez has scored by illegal, nefarious means. We were cheating, we were wrong. Mansfield feel they've been wronged here. Undeterred by this, Mansfield Town seemed to up the game. And on 80 minutes, Matt Green pulled a goal back. And Green! It's in! Mansfield are still alive in this time! 2 1. Could it be? Anthony Howell. We pressed and pressed and pressed. Green! But ultimately, to no avail. But I think, if anything, that was a stepping stone for us because we went on an absolutely amazing run. 12 games actually winning on the trot, pushed us right up to the top. Our main rivals that season, a team called Kidderminster Harriers, who themselves went on an amazing run. If we won, they won. If we won, they won. If we lost, fortunately they lost. It really, really went down to the wire. It went down to the final three games of the season. The third game to the end of the season, we were away at Braintree. Three points today, promotion, more or less assured. 
one room for them. This is it. We get in there. But then Braintree came into the game, scored one goal, equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Braintree scored the second goal, 2-1 Braintree. What's happening? We can't throw it away, surely. Do all the hard work and then finally let us down. We lost the game 2-1. Terrible journey on the way back home to Mansfield from Braintree because that night, Kidderminster beat Wrexham. That put Kidderminster above Mansfield, pushed Mansfield into the second spot. We got two games left, Kidderminster got one game left. Our penultimate game was against Hereford at Hereford. No other result would have counted. It had to be a win. Didn't start off particularly well at Hereford. Went a goal behind. But Matt Green, crossed by Lyndon Meekle, managed to equalise. 1-1, one, one, which would have given us one point. Level on points with Kidderminster. Kidderminster got a far superior goal difference than us, so that would have put them in the driving seat. It had to be three points. We had one or two good chances. Maybe we should have scored on a couple of occasions. Meek had a good chance. Adam Murray had a good chance. Bittner made a good save from Matt Green. Uh, numerous corners, numerous attacks, but time was running out. You were thinking, that's it, you know, game over, season over. Another season in the conference, we were thinking. Another season. This is our best chance ever. And we've, we've blown it. Into the 90th minute. Big punt from Alan Marriott, the goalkeeper. Matt Reed flicks it on. Comes to Green in the penalty area. Green beats his man. He shoots! Unbelievable. We've got people coming up to Lucy and Louise, picking them up, swirling them around. The joy, the emotion, the elation. Unbelievable. That game was the defining moment in the history of Mansfield Town Football Club. When the final whistle blew, 2-1 to Mansfield. We're top of the league. Destiny is in our own hands. We knew then that we were returning to the Football League. On the final Saturday of the season, we actually sat in the same seats when we actually got relegated. And you can't believe the difference. We beat Wrexham 1 0. We were champions. We we're back in the Football League. The return to the Football League of Mansfield Town. Down they came in 2008. They had their heartache when they were beaten by York City in the playoff semi final 12 months ago. This time, nothing was going to stop them. We've had some good nights, we've had some good Saturday afternoons, we've had some dour Saturday afternoons. You've got to experience the lows. You experience the lows, you'll relish the highs. I've been following that football club for 50 odd years, and I believe that night was my best ever night, best ever experience of supporting Mansfield Town Football Club. That final minute, that final goal, saved Mansfield Town Football Club from, from, from oblivion. Other people support Liverpool, Manchester United, Everton. Never go to football matches. They can't be supporters, can they? If you're a supporter, you attend. Nothing like supporting your local football team. You don't choose your football team. Your football team chooses you.